Hi guys, this is the first video of the series of generating functions and in this video we will cover some basics initially कुछ basic strong होने चाहिए वरना समझ में नहीं आएगा और हाँ ऐसा हो सकता है initial lectures में कि बहुत सारे questions समझ में नहीं आएगी क्या हो रहा है but stick रहना है uh, end तक तब अगर आप पहल स्टिक रहोगे और आप गिव अप नहीं करोगे स्टार्टिंग के लेक्चर्स में तो आपको एंड के लेक्चर्स इजी पढ़ेंगे क्योंकि सारे लेक्चर्स इजी हैं बट ये टॉपिक कभी पहले पढ़ा नहीं होता है इस वजह से टफ लगता है स्टार्टिंग में बट इतना टफ नहीं है जब समझ में आ जाएगा तो टफ नहीं है सो फर्स्ट लेक्चर में वॉट इज जनरेटिंग फंक्शन जनरेटिंग फंक्शन इज अ वेरी पावरफुल टूल विद हेल्प ऑफ विच वी सॉल्व टफ काउंटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर टफ विद इंक्लूजन एक्सक्लूजन एंड एनी अदर टेक्निक वी कैन ईजिली कैलकुलेट इन विद जनरेटिंग फंक्शंस बट इट्स नॉट ट्रिवियल थोड़ा सा टफ है थोड़ा सा टफ पड़ता है स्टार्टिंग में बट इफ यू नो द बेसिक्स यू कैन ईजिली सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स so generating function is nothing but it's a tool it comes under advanced counting and for which first we need to know that what is binomial theorem uh, binomial theorem sabne 11th class mein padhi hoti hai if nahi padhi hai aur if padhi bhi ho agar bhool rahe hain to we will revise binomial theorem is a plus b to the whole power n is summation of k is equal to 0 to n ye symbol agar aapko nahi pata hai to ye कॉम्बिनेशन का सिंबल है इसको अपन एन चूज के ऐसे भी लिख सकते हैं या फिर अपन इसको एन चूज के भी लिख सकते हैं और ये क्या होता है एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एन माइनस के फैक्टोरियल के फैक्टोरियल ठीक है एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एन माइनस के फैक्टोरियल के फैक्टोरियल ठीक है सो so, ये कॉम्बिनेशन का एक तर, लिखने का तरीका है ये भी लिखने का तरीका है दोनों का मतलब सेम है सो बाइनोमियल थ्योरम क्या है ए प्लस बी टू द होल्ड पावर एन इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ के जीरो से लेकर एन तक एन चूज के ए एन माइनस के बी के ओके सो थोड़ा सा डेफिनेशन है ये फॉर्मल इसको एक क्वेश्चन के थ्रू अपन एक्सपैंड करते हैं एंड यूज करते हैं बाइनोमियल थ्योरम को सो वन प्लस एक्स टू द पावर फोर है ठीक है तो वन हो गया ए है ये ए है ये बी है ठीक है और ये एन है सो ए प्लस बी टू द पावर एन वन प्लस एक्स टू द पावर फोर को अपन एक्सपैंड करेंगे तो क्या होगा फोर चूज जीरो एज वन सो वन टू द पावर फोर एक्स टू द पावर जीरो प्लस फोर चूज वन वन टू द पावर थ्री एंड माइनस के के इज वन वन टू द पावर थ्री एक्स टू द पावर वन प्लस फोर चूज टू वन टू द पावर टू एक्स टू द पावर टू प्लस फोर चूज थ्री वन टू द पावर वन एक्स टू द पावर थ्री एंड फोर चूज फोर वन टू द पावर जीरो एक्स टू द पावर फोर सो बाई यूजिंग बाई नॉर्मल थियोरम वी एक्सपैंडेड दिस वन प्लस एक्स टू द पावर होल्ड पावर फोर एंड we can simplify it 4 to the 4 choose 0 is 1 1 to the power 4 is 1 x to the power 0 is 1 4 choose 1 is 4 x 4 choose 2 is 6 you can calculate it and x square 4 choose 3 is 4 x to the power three four choose four is one one to the power zero is one x to the power four so it's 
1 plus 4x plus 6x square plus 4x cube plus x to the power 4. So this is this is binomial theorem. मतलब ये बिल्कुल बेसिक है ये तो आना ही चाहिए. इसके बाद combination I hope सबको पता होगा. But still we can solve some for example 6 choose 2 also we can write it as 6 choose 2 kya hai n factorial upon n minus k factorial k factorial which will be 6 factorial upon 6 minus 2 factorial and k is k is 2 6 factorial 4 factorial 2 factorial right 6 factorial kya hota hai 6 factorial kya hota hai 6 into 5 into 4 factorial 4 factorial 4 factorial cut gaya 2 factorial kya hota hai sirf 2 2 se 6 3 6 2 is 2 is 15 so this is this is this is the basics of basics hai ye to to ye binomial theorem tha next we will see extended binomial theorem so what is extended binomial theorem before asking that question first we check out this formula what is this something looking like combinatrix but there is a minus sign and it's uh, making more sense right because if we choose r items from n items then there are some n items uh, but here there is minus n choose r like how can the items be negative we can in the physical world we are choosing some items from n items but if the items are negative then it doesn't make any sense we cannot choose our items from negative items so it's illogical right but in mathematics it is logical and it works what if there are four items and we need to choose two items it can be a b b c c d a d b d and a c right a b a d a c b c b d right four choose two is Six. But what if I tell you that calculate minus four choose two. Calculate minus four choose two. Now this formula will play its role. What it is saying is n is equal to minus four. R is equal to minus r is equal to 2 so according to this formula minus 1 to the power r which is 2 n plus r minus 1 choose 2 minus 1 to the power 2 is 1 4 plus 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5, 5 choose 2, what is 5 choose 2, 5 choose 2 is 5 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, which will be 10, so minus 4 choose 2 is 10, you have to remember this formula, uh, you can pause the video and you can try to solve 
minus 7 choose 5 and minus 1 choose 2 you can solve those, those these two independently however uh, you can use this formula to solve but eventually you have to remember this formula for now on you can uh, solve by looking at this formula and you can check the description for answer for both these questions this is the first one this is the second one or maybe in the comment section I will put the answer of these two questions but for now you can solve it on your own so this was the formula of choosing negative from negative items what is extended binomial theorem extended binomial theorem is just the binomial theorem it is it's it's binomial theorem but apart from that it is saying that this equation holds true I mean 1 plus x to the power u will be summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity u k x to the power k uh, this is this is just like binomial theorem like the, the power of ones are same okay. so basically it doesn't matter so you have to remember this and it's not that difficult we can we can solve some problems I mean we already solved this right in the le previous lecture that uh, 1 plus x to the power 4 so it's saying the same thing this is the same thing we already solved a problem regarding that so you can remember extended binomial theorem but the the only thing you have to remember apart from the equation is value of x is less than 1 not more than 1 it should be less than 1 right apart from that you have to remember this equation we already solved a problem in the last lecture uh, or maybe in this lecture I record videos uh, by part so yeah we already solved these problems uh, so this is about extended binomial theorem it's just binomial theorem nothing else Uh, by using extended binomial theorem you can expand this this 1 plus x to the power minus n which will be u will be minus n and rest to is same so summation k is equal to 0 to infinity in place of u will put minus n and will choose k x to the power k so summation we know we, we know that how to solve this right we already saw, did this how to choose k items from minus k items the formula is minus 1 to the power k n plus r minus 1 up uh, choose r x to the power k so this is by I mean this is the answer uh, these questions are just to for you to remember the these two things and uh, second question is 1 minus x to the power minus n so here was plus n here is minus my plus x here is minus x so by using extended binomial theorem 1 minus x to the power n minus n it will be summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity n plus k minus 1 choose k and uh, x to the power k here by mistake I wrote r it should be k but yeah so that's all for this lecture in further lectures uh, I'll solve more problems thank you